It's a good day, gamers. It's a good day. Welcome back to Season 4, Episode 1 of the Iron Man Progress Series. I'm K. Wiley. Last time on the Season 3 finale, you already know we got the quest cape. 280 quest points. The new quest coming out June of 2021 still has not come out. So we're rocking and rolling. And like I said last episode, now that we have finally finished off Dragon Slayer 2, I want to have some fun with the big blue dragon here, Vorkath. He's got a head, and I want to chop it off. I want to get it. I want to get the assembler. I'm sick of this normal looking backpack. I want it to look fierce. So that's what we're here to do. Um, my gear is not awful for Vorkath. Obviously, Rune Crossbow is a question mark. Man, I don't have antidotes or anti-venoms, you know, any of that stuff. I can make antidote plus plus, but I need magic tree roots and I don't have 75 wood cutting. That's why I was wood cutting last episode. You'll probably see me wood cutting very shortly if it annoys me too much because I can boost for anti-venoms, but yeah, I don't, we'll, we'll see where I get. I mean, I think this should be fine. I mean, we'll see if I run out of food and whatever, but... For now, without putting any more work into it, I want to kill Vorkath and get the head. I will not stop until I get the head, and then we'll uh, reevaluate. So, let's kill a blue dragon. Oh my god, why am I risking this? I'm gonna die. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, baby, let's go. First post quest kill, uh, dragon bolts. Beautiful. I should get to my house, I'm gonna die. Well, it's doable. It's definitely doable. There's kill number two. Nice, room kite shields. Good hits, good hits. Big hits. Oh my God, huge hits. That was a beautiful ending. That's sub three already. And my first dragon leg item with the dragon plate skirt. Let's go, dude. Yo, let's go. Look at that. You'll love to see it. I gotta keep this. Hey, 89 range coming in. Didn't really know that was gonna happen. This kill is scuffed. Let's see if we pull it out. I don't think we will. Nope. Yep. We're definitely not going to. I should probably tell you. No. Risk it. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, oh well. 89 range to show for it, but it cost 100k. There we go. There's kill number four. Mm, more dragon bolts. Hey, there's kill number five. And a dragon battle axe. Yeah, number nine. Ooh, dragon play legs. Ooh, that was a PB too, 228. Not bad, I crushed my PB by like 30 seconds. Draconic Vicious, I can't even, I can't even talk. Draconic Visage, what the hell? 24 KC. I'm a big spoon, baby. Yeah, almost halfway to the head, I guess. But if Orkath wants to give me other drops, I'll take them. Like that is legitimately a one in 5K. And I'm looking for a one in 50. Man, I'm still just, I'm in shock. That is, that's nuts. I really want to make it because Damn, would I look cool, but I don't know, man. 85 smithing with a boost. I guess I could pay 1.2 mil. Get, we're sinking the money. That's too dope. 
it's too dope not to. All right, Oziak, you beautiful man, I got something for you. Oh, do I got something for you. Look at this visage, brother. Damn, that was a money sink, but look at me. Uh, uh-huh. Look crazy good. Look at that thing. Well, I suppose it'd be a good thing to charge it before we use it. So let's get some unpowered dragon breath. Use it on here. We got some bottled dragon breath. And we use it on the shield. There we go. We got a charged up dragon fire shield, dude. What the hell? All right, uh, back to Vorkath, I guess. Dragon plate legs. All right, it's either this kill or the next kill. It's the next kill. And there it is, kill number 50, the guaranteed kill for the Vorkath's head. We did not spoon the head, but I can't complain because look at me. Now let's go make this a little better by upgrading that backpack. All right, Ava, look at this Vorkath's head and give me the assembler. That's something beautiful. We finally have Ava's assembler on the account. Best in slot range cape. Our range gear, specifically for Elite Void, is looking really strong. At this point, the only sad part about it is the crossbow. But we'll get a range weapon upgrade eventually. I'm not super worried about it at the moment. But you know what? That was a fun little boss grind. I mainly only did it because I knew I only needed to get 50 kills for it. Here is the loot for the 50 kills. Of course, the Draconic Visage coming in clutch. 24 KC, still kind of baffled. But I mean, look at us. We're very quickly becoming a pro gamer. And speaking of loot from Vorkath, I do have... Uh, a few dragon hides from that grind so I'm gonna tan these turn them into bodies and then make a little bit of money we'll see how much money we make all right and this is gonna be the last of our leather here we'll make some vams to end it off all right here is our uh, stuff to elk we'll see what our GP stack gets up to well we are not even missing a beat there's all the bodies out just over two mil so that pays for the shield money sink and it gives us like an extra 800k yeah, we absolutely take that. Well, I think it's about time we jump back into Slayer. We're going to bring our new upgrade to the Shamans. Hopefully get a Warhammer, but you know what? More Slayer tasks coming soon. Bruh, I just out my Talisman. That sucks, dude. That, was, that thing was fully charged. What is this? And I'm getting rare seeds. This is all sorts of scuffed. Well, that's a punch in the gut. We, uh... We have 128 charges now, and I had a full 1,000 charge talisman. I guess that's how it goes. All right, here goes the last kill of the task. Nothing. I'm just going to run away and forget that this task happened. Uh, very unfortunate, but I guess we're going to restart our collection right here with 241 charges. So let's just move right along here. Next task is Kurask. Give me the battle axe. Come on now. First hard casket in quite some time from Kurasks. Here we go. Ooh, that's a new body. New god plate body, Guthics plate body. Will match my Guthix skirt, I suppose. Pretty fancy, a couple alchemals too. Let's get back to Slayer. Always a fun task to do, but it's done. And there's some more cash. All right, big fella. Ooh, big fella. That's what I'm talking about. Is it more Zenite time? And it's been a few episodes since we've killed these, so as a reminder, we are at 1218 KC, which is a little bit over the drop rate for four Zenites, and we only have one. But let's see if we can change that. 
How did I just get the assembler and I forgot to bring it? Like, does something look off about my range setup? Yeah, I'm ranging in a fire cape. We got a hard casket from Demonics. Pretty standard. Hey, hard casket from Demonics. Oh, let's grab this too. That's worth some money. Wilderness Adventures give us... Ooh, two uniques. Nice, a tank cavalier and the room plate legs T. Nice. You gotta love getting uniques. Yo, we're about to have an absolutely massive level come through here. There's 91 farming coming in. And uh, I hate to say it, but that's mostly from herb runs. I haven't been uh, doing my tree runs very well. And I don't have coins. I will get better about tree runs. Uh, we need 99 farming one way or another. Hey, 78 defense coming in. And that's another hard clue from uh, Demonic Gorillas. Ooh, another piece of rune tea. Rune plate body tea. Nice. The rune tea actually goes really well with the quest point cape. So uh, yeah, we're we're gaming. Ooh. Man, a spring. God, I think that's my third one. And I got a clue though, I guess. So let's do it. And yep, I already have two unstrung heavy ballistas, so I've made two full ballistas minus two monkey tails. And now that is my fourth spring in total. Wow, would you just look at that. Garbage. This hard clue better make up for it. Alrighty, moment of truth, here we go. Uh, wow, the teleports are worth a lot, but um, junk. And another hard casket coming in here. I got all swagged out for it. Hope it helps. Here we go. Uh... Uh... I just need a tail, bro. Uh... Well, I mean, I, I just need Zenites, but as far as the heavy ballista goes. Are you kidding me, bro? My third heavy frame, what is wrong with this? Like seven kills after this one as well. Man, I cannot catch a break here. And that's the task over. Just, just get me out of here, I'm sick of it. Certainly an odd way to end the task off. We are now at three limbs, three heavy frames, and four springs. No tail, no light frame, and only one Zenite. Nearly 1,400 kills. Um, Sag. But I suppose we can add to our uh, unstrung heavy ballista collection. We now have three unstrung heavy ballistas. And Duradel says to me, uh, to Zar Task. Oh, sh damn it. Well, that was uh, unfortunate. Let's get a new task. Oh man, I do have an unused block. Um, I mean, dragon bones are okay, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and block iron dragons. Don't wanna do them. Uh, easy enough. Right, trolls are done. We are gonna go over to uh, Konar for the 10th task point boost. Here we are, uh, yeah, okay, jellies. Oh, we got a hard casket. Ugh. And here's our jelly task finish up. A nice little point boost there, 90 points, but we're gonna head back to our guy, Duradel. And next task, incoming, it's Necreal. And we've already got a hard casket from our Necreal task. Hey, there's a new piece, the red Dehyde Chaps G. Not bad Alex either. A couple of room plate bodies, room plate legs. I'll take it. Here is a big magic level coming in. 89 magic coming in. Not sure I unlocked very much, but almost 90. I'll take it. There we go. There's another Slayer task down. I love doing these neck reel tasks. And the next one's looking like... Dust Devils, more bursting, okay. Well, folks, this is easily one of my favorite Slayer tasks. We got a full Dark Totem on this task. 
and we got dangerously close to our next HP level and there's the task finished. And we got exactly a thousand points, so that's kind of cool. I wouldn't mind more Dust Devils, but what do we got? Ooh, Dagonoth. coming in 91 hit points man that's a that's a big level and there's 90 range coming in pretty quickly too two real big uh big levels on this trip oh nice that's my first dragon axe cool nice no more rune axe baby Oh my god, another one. Couldn't give me one in over 100 kills if I get two back to back. And the Seer Call right after that, which is for a Master Clue. Nice, I'm starting to get really lucky. Now I just need to do the Elite Fremenic Diary so I can actually keep all the bones instead of burying them. And there's the hard casket from that trip. What are we gonna get? Wow. Man, that was a long clue, too. Oh, my third dragon axe. And there's my second circle. And we got a hard clue. Let's get out of the wilderness. King Narnode. Eh. Alright, another hard clue here with my ogre friends. Let's see if we can get something better. Oh man, I'm not having a good run of hard clues. Well, I only have 19 more Dagonoth to kill on the task, and I don't really want to run all the way to DKs just for a few kills, so I'm going to finish the task up in the catacombs. Ah, with how many drops I actually got on that task, I only filled in two log slots, uh, three axes and two seer coals. Yeah, still need the mud battle staff, seer's ring, warrior ring, and of course all the pets. Well, we only have a handful of kills left on this task, but once this one is down, we have a huge level coming in. That's 85 Slayer coming in, which of course is Abyssal Demon tasks. And I do really want to start doing Sire. I think it would be a fun boss, and of course the Bludgeon would be really nice to have. But I've never done it, so I don't really know the mechanics very well or what the requirements will be, so we'll have to look into that. Anyway, here is the task finished up. Alright, Duradel, give us Abyssal Demons right away. Nani? Oh, <laughs> what? He just gave me max. For my very first one, dude, he just gave me max Abyssal Demons. Yep, I can confirm I have not extended them yet, so 200 is max right now. But I might as well confirm that for next time to get more demons. And uh, I'm just going to spend some Slayer points. I'll extend Kraken. I'll extend Basilisks. Because, you know, I don't have the Jai yet, of course. And I think the uh, Blood Shard is going to be good in the future. So might as well get that through Slayer as well. I will unlock Vampire Slayer. Yeah, spend it points. But let's go see what it's going to take to get our first Abyssal Sire, KC. Well, I do know that crystal bows are decent at Sire, so I'm going to talk to Ilfine here and recharge my crystal weapon seed. We're going to do it for 900k down the drain, but you know what? We got a fully charged crystal bow, and I'm feeling good. You know what? I think that's all we're going to have time for this video. It's getting to be about that time. So I'll continue making Sire preparations next episode. And uh, speaking of... I can't wear my quest point cape anymore because a night at the theater has come out for hard mode and story mode theater of blood. I was trying it with some homies the other night, but we uh, have yet to complete it. So we're going to try again next episode to get the quest point cape back. And this was the quest I was talking about in June. This still has not come out, but a night at the theater has.
before it. So I think this one's coming out in a few days, though. Probably both of these quests will get done next episode. Man, this episode, of course, we got our DFS looking beautiful. And we also got the Assembler looking really good. And we had a bit of luck at DK's. We finally got our first, uh, second, and third Dragon Axes. So we got Dragon Axes for days. No more Rune Axe. And uh, we got two Seer Calls. So that's also a decent item to get for Master Clues. But I'm going to try Sire next episode. I don't know how it's going to go, but that's the fun of this account for me. So the quest cape will be reachieved for easy fairy ring access, as I have yet to do construction, which is also a future goal of mine. But yeah, Sire next episode, I am very excited to try some new bossing. And we're going to keep on the Slayer grind after that, of course, because 87 still won't get itself. I probably shouldn't even try bossing right now. It's not very efficient, but it's it's going to be fun. So if you enjoyed what you saw, consider liking the video. And if you're new here, definitely subscribe to the channel. Season 4 is starting off with a bang. I encourage you to go watch Seasons 1 through 3 if you haven't to see how we've gotten here. Anyways, I can't wait to continue the excitement in the next video. And until then, I'm Kay Wiley, and I'll see you next time.